Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. Previously in Office 365, we saw the sharing tab. Today we are going to look at the sync tab. So this what sync means making changes or applying changes to your remote location. It could so with the uh, local location being the folder that you are working on so you could uh, i think in windows xp there was a folder so basically you could uh, sync multiple folders to that uh, briefcase there was like an option to briefcase i think something like that so basically what happens is if i'm working on this folder and i'm syncing this folder as well well and for example in this case it's on um, one one drive so if I there's a file that's uh, a word file I open it edit some uh, lines out add two paragraphs close it click the sync button and it's gonna do the same to that remote file in OneDrive it will erase those lines from that file it will add those two uh, paragraphs that I added here and close that so how it's gonna do is either remove the I don't know like the normally it would be like remove the file from the uh, remote location and copy a new one from local to over there so do not take it as a backup it's not a backup it's a real-time exact replica so do not click sync if you didn't mean to and you wanted that uh, old copy there so you, backup is different than syncing so again with this folder example it's a Christmas uh, photo album you had family uh, invited you took a bunch of photos and then you had uh, everything synced up on OneDrive and later on while you or your anybody like your son or somebody they while uh, going through this folder they m delete a few photos they say hey this is not necessary okay, okay okay let's delete and if you hit sync all of the f f pictures that you have deleted from this folder will be deleted from your OneDrive as well so be very careful with the sync option it's not as a backup it's just an exact replica stored somewhere so this one is show the sync button on OneDrive website so if you want you can uh, like uh, uh, the button is like right here this one so it, this will be gone what I did is if I save it and refresh it it's not gone right so I thought that it's because like uh, that that's an admin account that's why so it's still there and when I was in admin account I noticed this return to classic OneDrive so for the user account I went to in classic mode right here as well so you see I'm in classic and it doesn't matter if I'm classic or newer user uh, interface the sync button is here and you as you see that that is a tiny monitor then get arrow going up and back so you make any changes on your local folder right there it will be replicated over here as well but if I am to delete this file from here and so you see this other arrow means that if I press the sync button here or if I have the client like I see there was a client download option if you go and download the client and you run that from the from your computer for windows or you have on your phones and this other arrow means that whatever you delete from the OneDrive will be deleted from your uh, local copy as well so it's a two-way street be very careful with syncing it is not a back backup So, when since I could not remove the uh, 
that sync and it was not taking effect with SharePoint we know it takes time it could take 30 minutes to a day so I was uh, worried and then I end up searching this one somebody lost a pro what had the same thing and you see this one and somebody from Microsoft had replied to them that it could take time or you can go through the um, script PowerShell and you can do that so the guy came back and said that it disappeared after a day so it's a latency issue or it's an issue with it that uh, it's just uh, slow allow syncing only on PC joined to specific domains that would be and do not think of this as email domains like we saw with the sharing tab when here uh, we are not talking about those domains even though this is kind of the same but these were for the email if you look at the wording it's saying PC joined we are talking about Active Directory domains so if that PC is a part of work email address connected through Azure AD or it is uh, your organization inner because we are OneDrive for business and you want your users PC inside your organization or their laptops to be synced only then you have to check this and provide those domains so this this is for that and you have to enter the list this one is very little bit stink <laughs> do not allow it on Mac so Apple fanboys will not like it block syncing of specific uh, file types you can e type e e one on each line it says on a new line so basically this is you don't want exe over there or you don't want zip files because sometimes uh, zip files have exe inside as well and dot tar dot g a something or dot bat batch files so there are certain files types that you do not want them you can list them and even if the user has that uh, file ex like they have 100 files here five of them are exe one the sync 95 files will be uploaded and synced except for those 5.exe files or any other file type that you mention click save and you will be done so I'm gonna save it and we're gonna see that sync button shows up or not but not in this video I'm gonna wrap this video right here I do not want to wait an hour and you know just so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you an update in a future video like hey okay you see sync is not showing up button so let's see maybe at the wrap up video like in the very last one so I'm gonna wrap this video here uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and see you in the next one